Большое спасибо. Уважаемый господин Фратини, вы, будучи заместителем председателя Европейской комиссии, много работали над укреплением пространства в области безопасности, что непосредственно связано с безвизовым режимом. Как вам кажется, что нам еще здесь не достает сделать, чтобы этот процесс полностью завершить? Well, uh, thank you, thank you very much, Igor, for your invitation. Thanks, Prime Minister and President Barroso, for your presence here. Uh, in fact, I would say uh, 10 years after this historical meeting in St. Petersburg, I've been there as Foreign Minister of Italy in 2003. Uh, much has been said, but I, I think I can recall after 10 years, we saw uh, in Europe some negative elements and emerging like I would say euroscepticism, uh, financial economy troubles, some European fatigue towards a further enlargement and of course this European fatigue involves relations with neighbors and also with the Russian Federation. It has been said and I agree completely Mutual trust has been uh, lowering down in the recent uh, years and we need now more than ever, I would say, a broader European perspective which is economic perspective, cultural and political perspective where uh, Russia is considered as a strategic trusted equal partner with European Union as some have said. So uh, we need, on uh, my opinion, two things. We need, of course, leadership. And leadership should express a vision. But we need also, in parallel, some concrete and tangible results uh, uh, involving and concerning the daily life of people. Because uh, I remember when I signed in 2007 the visa facilitation readmission agreement on behalf of the European Commission uh, in the first uh, President Barroso's commission. I remember that time. There was enthusiasm about the possibility of going ahead with visa-free dialogue. And we were in that situation ready to pave the way for a smooth negotiation on a visa-free uh, uh, agreement with the Russian Federation and what we have been achieving in the past years in the Western Balkans by agreeing visa facilitation and then visa free agreements brought people from Western Balkans very much closer to Europe. They realized that Europe is there, is a reliable friend and partner and this should be done with the Russian Federation as well because uh, tangible results that are seen in the daily life of people as important, productive. My idea would be why shouldn't be uh, uh, ready to explore going on a step-by-step -step basis by first of all avoiding to make a confusion between different issues. I understand there are uh, ideas on how to improve uh, flights, security, discussing about a PNR or something like that. These, I think, shouldn't be in the, in the same basket. Keep it separated, negotiations on visa-free agreement with other security-related measures and, for example, Let's think about recognizing to students and to researchers in a first step a visa-free special regime to give them a tangible message of friendship and to promote people-to-people -people contact at least in the field of cultural and scientific cooperation. Students, researchers are not, I would say, source of concern for we Europeans. On the contrary, this would represent an added value. This would be a pragmatic way to go ahead on visa-free dialogue and visa-free agreement. 
Second point, what we have in common is much more than our divergences. Much has been said. I, I, I just recall two points. First point, security. We have been working very hard together on cybercrime and countering drug trafficking. These are still key elements in the security a global perspective for Europe and for Russia as well. Let's not divide our concept of global security while addressing new threats that are asymmetrical threats like cyber security or countering illegal trafficking, including drug trafficking. And my second and last point is the following. We have very much in common on foreign policy interest. We have a common interest in stabilizing crisis areas. And since Europe is called upon to be a stronger provider of security in Mediterranean region, in the North Africa, in Africa, why should be blocked on having a closer cooperation on foreign policy as Europe as a whole with the Russian Federation on southern dimension of security threats and the uh, uh, related opportunities. To do so, we need united Europe. This is the clear point. Unless we will be able to much more integrate politically, not just economically, our Europe, we would be a less reliable partner. Only a stronger European Union is in the interest of the Russian Federation. Only a stronger and united Europe will be capable to get decisions that are highly political decisions, not technical ones. This is why I'm a partisan of a much more politically integrated union, not just economically integrated. Thank you very much. <laughs>